Yo, this your boy Jive Turkey live from the two, one, mother, fucking five. What up? I said, what up? What up? What's going what up? on, y'all? What up? Chilling, chilling, chilling. So this is part two of how to game with keyboard and mouse for console players. So I know all of this probably looks alien to you. I'm actually, I can't really get my uh, left hand on the camera, on the um, keyboard, because it's just a bad angle that I have the camera on. I have a, a new angle that I was using on my stream, but this was before I used that new angle. And... I want y'all to focus on the mouse anyway. Maybe another another part I will do the keyboard, but I'm going to New York for a couple of days to meet up with a couple of people. So maybe I will do it after I come back. As you can see, I, I use like, it's not the traditional palm grip because my hands are very big. I got those smack your girl on the ass hands. I got those big ass hands. So I can't really do a palm grip. It's like a kind of a hybrid between palm and claw. Like my middle finger looks claw-ish, but my middle finger is long as shit. So I can't really just do a regular palm grip. So I have to have some space in between the mouse and the, my hand. But I assure you, all of the controls, you know, I'm not doing claw because claw, claw is probably for running gunners will probably like claw, right? I'm, I'm a running gunner, but I'm not the traditional running gunner. I like, I run away from gunfights and stuff like that. But I run around the map all the time. Like I can't sit still. And AR users... Or what what do they call them? The the I forgot what they call them in like Pro COD. But the AR user will probably use palm grip, most likely. And the and the snipers, they'll probably use palm grip. I don't know who will use fingertip grip. Like fingertip grip is very weird to me. I I don't know why. Um but you see a lot of a lot of times I pick up the the mouse and like reposition it, it that's going to come naturally. Uh, a lot of the things are going to come naturally. Like your grip is going to come naturally. I don't think you should force a grip. Like if, if you're trying to use fingertip all of a sudden, I don't, I don't think you should force it. I think you should just grab the mouse and, and however you grab the mouse and you should know how you grab the mouse because you watch Pornhub and shit, right? I said, you watch Pornhub and shit, right? So you know how to grab the mouse and go to your search bar and stuff like that. So I think however you grab the mouse is however, how you should gain, right? Claw grip is for people who want to shoot fast. Uh, your fingers will just react faster when it's bent than when it's straight. It's just physics. Like, you know, the your finger is already on the fucking... Uh, the button like and it and it's just faster. I, I can't explain it. It's just regular old physics. Regular old physics. Regular old physics. Regular old physics. Don't put your sensitivity too high. A lot that that's a lot of people's mistakes. They'd be like, oh, I'm getting wrecked and I can't control. Uh, like, t go at, at a very low sensitivity. Go at a low DPI. My DPI, I go from 800. Like like in Black Ops 1, I go to 800 DPI. In this game, I'm at 400 DPI. But don't start out. This is what I mean. Like, And that this should be like with any game, like with any shooter or console or PC or whatever. Whatever you're on. You should start out with a slow sensitivity, right? Feel it out. Play for a couple of the games, then go up. Go up like two notches. Fill that out, go up two notches. Fill that out, go up two notches. So 
I'm sure people that play with super high sensitivities didn't start out playing with super high sensitivity. I'm talking about the good players. I'm not talking about just the wacky players who, who fucking suck. I'm talking about the good players. They usually start with a low sensitivity, and then as they get better and more used to the game, they bump their sensitivity up. Not used to the game, but used to the engine and used to how the game feels. Like in Tarkov, I had a low sensitivity at first because the game felt very weird. Then I turned the sensitivity up as I got the, the movement down pack. In other games like... COD games, I already know my sensitivity. I know the avenue, like the the neighborhood, what my sensitivity should be. And other games, like I don't play other games because I think they're fucking childish and boring. But most games, like I don't play Fortnite, but I I, I would think... Most likely your sensitivity should be kind of high in Fortnite because of all the activities and there's people from above coming from coming for you and people below and the side and left and so I think you should run like a high sensitivity in like Fortnite and stuff like that. And I think as you transition to a game like like PC, as you transition from console to PC, I think you should buy a game not buy but download a game like fortnite because it's free like that that's very good practice for your aiming and for your mouse movements fortnite got a whole bunch of activity and i hate to say it a game like black ops 4 if you can find it on like uh what is it g2way.com uh kingwin.com if you can find it you know you you guys are making a transition for Modern Warfare 4. So I, I'm guessing on Kingwin.com or whatever, you will find a very good price. So I advise you to buy like Black Ops 4 and run around and be crazy, chaotic game. And bam. I can't believe I just sniped him like that. But I think you should buy like a chaotic game like that because it's a lot of movements and left and right and up and down and your head got to be on a swivel. You will get better, faster that way. What I did is I fired up COD 4 and I played the campaign. And I know y'all, Jav, you played campaign? What? Yeah. Man, I didn't... I was getting wrecked on uh, PC when I first transitioned from P console to PC. So I, I had to do something. I had to, like... Play some computers, some bots. The bots are a little too stupid. Like, like if you play, uh, set up the bots on what is it? Combat training. I just think the bots are just a little too stupid. So I played um, the campaign, and I just got better. I wasn't playing the campaign for the storyline or anything. I just was like, yo, let me just play and let me shoot people. That's how you get. Like your movement, your left, your guys, I'm telling you, your right hand, which will be controlling the mouse, will be so natural. It will be so natural. Your left hand is what you're really going to have to get used to. And a hand cam on the left hand is kind of weird because... I can't explain it, but it's like hard to see how, what buttons I'm pushing because my fingers are already covering the buttons. If if that's if that makes any sense, but a lot of people want to see the hand cam, so that's what I am going to do. Um, the biggest tip is just know you're going to suck, right? That's the biggest tip, and um. Wow. Call of Duty is such a childish game. How would that even happen? But the biggest tip, and just get that through your head. You're going to suck, you know? And then you're going to get better and better and better and better at the game. So I'm glad you guys watched the video. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to thumb up 
the video. And remember, that operator that says, welcome to Comcast, is the jive turkey of keyboard and mouse. I'm out.